Hey guys, Zach here, and today I'm going to be doing my first planet profile video for my trading card game called the Chaos Galaxy. And in these videos I'm just going to be telling you about one of the planets in the galaxy, um, going into detail on it and showing you all the cards I've made for that planet so far. And today's planet is Shios, the fire planet which is closest to the sun. Basically, it all the planets have a different playstyle, so some are defensive, some are offensive, and some use your dead cards, and so on and so on. Um, this is a very offensive planet being fire and all. So um, here it is in card form and the card of the planet Shios states all Shios creatures on your planet gain 50 power. So that just helps with the uh, aggressive playstyle if you have that card. The first creature I've got to show you is Man Flacky. 250 power and 150 health. So you can sort of see the uh, aggressiveness of, if that's a word, of some of the cards already. And yeah I showed you Man Flacky in the other video. And yeah 250 power is pretty good. I'd say um, any sort of power stat or health that above 200 is good and then above 350 is getting really good and 500 is the highest I've made so far so like anything 500 or higher is ridiculous and you, you pretty much win the game if you get a card out with 500 power so yeah that's uh, Man Flacky the first guy the next guy he's um, got even more power than Man Flacky, he's Pyronite and what I've done with these Knight cards, I've made one for uh, every planet well I'm going to make one for every planet, I've only done three so far, this is Pyronite the fire one so um, look forward to seeing some of his brothers in future videos. And his artwork's a bit difficult to see, like because his skin's sort of the same colour as the background. But he's got one arm going back there, holding this like fire staff behind him. And then he's got one arm stretched out with a sword in it, pointing at you, because he's gonna kill you with his 280 power. So yeah, and then the next guy, um, Meltalon. He's probably my favourite for the planet. He's a rare card. You can tell he's rare because. Well, it says rare down there. If it was common, it'd say common. And then he has a sort of these blue spots in his background rather than um, just a plain common background. And also, if I take him out of his sleeve, you can see that around his name boxes and his picture boxes, he has this glitter. That's because uh, all rare cards have glitter on them. And then uh, really rare, which is the next grade up, have even more glitter. And then ridiculously rare, which is the rarest. Uh, they have like glitter everywhere. They're very shiny. And yeah, Meltalon's got 400 power and 400 health, so he's really powerful. Uh, and he has six stars. Normally a card with 400 power and 400 health would have more than six stars, but his ability reads, at the end of each of yours and your opponent's turns, uh, this card loses 50 power and 50 health. So that's one downside to him, because he starts off really powerful and then he just gets weaker. But there is a way to um, to use this effect to your advantage, which I'll get to in a minute. So yeah, that's Meltalon. Strongest to the weakest, we now have Spark Eye, who's only a one star with 60 power and 60 health and no ability. But just because he's the weakest doesn't mean he's the worst, because he only has one star, which makes him very easy to play. But I'll get to that in another video. Next up, I've got Magmol, 270 power and 170 health. 120 health, sorry. No ability. Next up, I've got Bold Whip, 260 power, 140 health, who's another common. And he has no ability. And that's all the those are all the creatures I've made so far. There are six. And I'm gonna to get to some of the support cards now for Shios creatures. So this first one is Firebolt, and it says you gain one point for every Shios creature on your planet. So it's a pretty situational card. I mean if you've only got one guy, so like you've just got Bold Whip, then you probably wouldn't want to play Firebolt. Whereas if you had like a whole arsenal of uh Shios creatures on your planet, then you're definitely going to want to play Firebolt and get in like four or five points, um, which could actually win you the game because you only need 20 points to win a game. So it's a single use resource, so you can only use it once you play it and then it dies. Uh, and then the next card, called the Upside Down Realm, is a permanent resource card, so you play it and it stays there until either it gets killed or until the end of the game. And yeah, the artwork didn't come out as well as I'd have liked it to, but hopefully you can tell that everything's upside down. If I flip it over, it'll probably look more obvious. Say, so, like, the end of my hand is the ground, and then you've got trees growing upwards from it. You've got the clouds in the sky and all the rocks on the ground. And then when you flip it over, and that's the ground, everything's upside down. And this is the thing that I was telling you about with Meltalon before, if I can find him. Yeah, because this card reads, all decreases and increases to a creature's power and or health by a card ability are reversed. And it sounds a bit complicated, but it's really simple. Say you have um, the Upside Down Realm out, and you have Meltalon. Now normally, at the end of your turn, Meltalon's ability would mean it loses 50 power and 50 health. But if you've got the Upside Down Realm, that flips it, so he would, 
instead increases power and health by 50 at the end of every turn. So we go to 450, 450, and then next turn 500, 500, and you just keep getting stronger. And so yeah, that's a really cool combo. I'm hopefully going to try and make a deck out of these guys, sort of based around this ability of uh, flipping effect, flipping like decreases and increases, so sort of upside down deck, which should be fun. And there are all the cards I've got to show you in this video. So let me know what you think of these cards. Um, let me know which card from the planet Shios is your favourite. I'd say mine would have to be Meltalon purely for that really cool combo that I'm looking forward to using with uh, the Upside Down Realm, if I can find it there, the Upside Down Realm. And yeah, that's that's pretty much all I've got. The next video will be on the desert planet, Barrow, which is next along in the galaxy. So uh, look forward to that. And yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, then why not subscribe to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel called Yu-Gi-Bob 3000. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.